Good day class. In this video, we will continue the filling out of para DX parametric table and now for a spherical manipulator. Okay, so I will uh, make this fast. So this is, this row is for H01. This is for H12. And this is for H two two three. Okay. So row one theta our 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 Z sub N minus one is Z sub zero. Our X sub N minus one is X sub zero. Our X sub one. Our X sub N is X sub one. So we need to make uh, x sub 0 at the same direction as x sub 1. But uh, they are already at the same direction. So this is 0 degrees plus the given joint variable theta 1. Because the joint 1 is a revolute or twisting joint. Next. Let's go to our next two frames. So, our Zn minus 1 is Z sub 1. Our X sub N minus 1 is X sub 1. And our X sub N, X sub N is X sub 2. So, let's uh, rotate at Z sub 1 axis. So that X sub 1 will match its uh, direction with X sub 2. So let's simulate that. So this is the counterclockwise because Z sub 1 is uh, the thumb. X sub 1 is the, are the four fingers. Then the direction of where you will close your four fingers is the direction of rotation. So, this is 90 degrees. Okay, this is 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees plus our second joint is a revolute joint. We have an additional joint variable, theta 2. Then, for row 3, uh, for row 3, we have... A, we have uh, Z sub N minus 1 is uh, Z sub 2. Our X sub N minus 1 is X sub 2. And our X sub N is X sub 3. So we need to make X sub 2 the same direction with X sub 3. So they, have the, they, they already have the same direction. So, this is 0 degrees. Okay. Next is alpha. Okay. So, let's go back to our base. Our X sub N is X sub 1. Our Z sub N minus 1 is Z sub 0. Our Z sub N is Z sub 1. So, we need to make Z sub 0 the same direction with, uh, let's make Z sub 0 have the same direction, or have the same direction with uh, Z sub 1. Okay, our axis of rotation is X sub 1, so we will rotate counterclockwise. So, the rotation of counterclockwise is this, okay. Because X sub 1 is the thumb, Z sub 0 is the direction of the four fingers. The direction where it will close is the counterclockwise direction. So this is 90 degrees. Okay, this is 90 degrees. Now it will match with Z sub 1. Okay, this is 90 degrees. Next is... Alpha, uh, next is row 2. Our X sub N is X sub 2. Our Z sub 
Our z sub uh, n minus 1 is z sub 1. Our z sub n is z sub 2. Okay. We need to make z sub 1 the same axis with z sub 2. So, along x sub 2 axis, we will rotate counterclockwise. Okay. So, the direction of our counterclockwise is here because x sub 2 is our thumb. The direction of our thumb is a sub 1 is the direction of our four fingers. The direction of the closing of our four, of our four fingers is the direction of counterclockwise. So, this is the counterclockwise. So, now Z1 and Z2 have the same directions. So, the amount of uh, rotation is 90 degrees. Okay. The amount of rotation is 90 degrees. Okay. So, last alpha. Our x sub n is x sub 3. Our z sub n minus 1 is z sub 2. Our z sub n is z sub 3. Let's make sure that z sub 2 is at the same direction with z sub 3. They have already the same direction. So, our alpha is 0 degrees. Next is r. Okay. Let's go back again to the base. So, R is the distance of the origin of frame 1 and frame 0 along X sub 1 axis. So, X sub 1 is in here. Okay. It is not at the axis of the distance of uh, frame 0 and frame 1. So, our answer here is 0. Okay, this is 0. Wait a minute. This is frame, so this is 0. Next is the distance of the origin of frame 1 and frame 2 along uh, along x sub 2 axis. Okay? x sub 2 now is the x sub n. Okay, as you can see class, the origin the origin of frame 1 and frame 2 are the same. Okay, they have the same origin. Because they have the same origin, the distance here is 0. Okay, they are at the same origin. Okay, frame 1 and frame 2. Frame 1 and frame 2 at, is at the same origin. So, our R here is 0. Then, for our row 3, the distance of uh, the origin of frame... The origin of frame... 3 to frame 2 along x sub 3 axis because x sub 3 now is the x sub n. Okay. So, it is still 0. It is 0 because x sub 3 axis is not because the, the distance, because the axis of the distance of frame 3 and frame 2 is not at the, the axis of x sub 3. Okay? x sub 3 is pointing upward while the axis of the distance is at the left side. So, our R here is still 0. Okay, let's go, let's go to letter D. The distance of frame 1 to frame 0 along z sub 0 axis because z sub 0 axis is now z sub n minus 1. So, along z sub 0, we have link a sub 1. So, this is a sub 1. Okay. So I hope you get this. D. Next. Uh... 
the distance of the origin of frame 1 and frame 2 as you can see again they are at the same origin so our distance here is 0 next for the distance of frame 3 and frame of of uh, frame 3 to frame 2 along z sub 2 axis z sub 2 axis because it is the z sub the z sub n minus 1 axis okay for this homogeneous transformation matrix for h23 or homogeneous transformation matrix of frame 3 reference or relative to frame 2 so from here to here or from here to here the distance is a2 plus a3 because a2 and a3 is along z sub 2 axis so our d here is a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus d sub 3 because we have a given joint variable d3 okay so this is the complete parametric table of our given three degrees of freedom spherical manipulator okay